Brillers on. The stands still packed, though. Yes, this certainly isn't the time to leave. We have four by fours on the track. As we saw last night, the Hamians were very supportive of the four by four mix relay, and they're not going anywhere until these four by four relays are completed. This is one of the big events in Caribbean track and field, the 4x4. World record by Jamaican the Olympic Games 1952. Famous Helsinki Quartet. Since that time, great teams from Trinidad and Tobago and the Bahamas. All there with moments to remember. These fans faithful, they look drizzle. Breeze coming in as well, but as Tanik said, these people in yellow. Is it gold today? They've come for gold. They've come for gold. I like these fans. They've stuck in with it through bright, sunshiny days. And this afternoon, where weather's different. And I like these fans. They've stuck in with it, whether the weather's bright, sunshiny, or gloomy. On brothers up. We go to a break. We'll back on our coverage of Carista 50. Races left at Carifta 50 as we have the medal ceremony for the under 20 boys 200 meters at the Musgrove Bahamas 100 bronze 200 bronze the Jamaicans 1-2 at 200 meters led by Malik Smith band is only event here at Carifta 50 individual event the 200 meters same for Javorn Dunkley the silver medalist Personal best for Smith Band to win the gold medal. I was actually taking a close look to try and figure out if it is actually Smith Band who came to collect the medal. Could likely be on the Jamaica 4x4 team, so. He could well be preparing for that and did not have the opportunity to collect the medal himself. Didn't get a clear shot, so I'm not 100% sure, but it didn't quite look like him. The Jamaican fans enjoying themselves in Bahamaland. On the 17 boys, 4x400 relay final coming up. Record set in 2012, 314, 52 by Jamaica. The Bohemians will go in lane 7. Turks and Caicos, they will start in lane number 6.
the Bermudians. Lane 5. And lane number 4, Team Jamaica. The record holders, Jamaica. In lane number 4. With the 400 champion Nicole Bramwell in their setup. Trinidad and Tobago starting lane number two. Second from left, Lukoi Bramble, the 400 champion, leads his troops up for the 4x4. Four four. Four by four hundred final for under seventeen boys coming up. All right, folks, let's make some noise in this place. We have the under seventeen men, four by four hundred meter relay, three fourteen fifty two, curve the record set back in two thousand and twelve by Team Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Kitts and Nevis, Jamaica, Bermuda, Turks and Caicos, Bahamas and Grenada. Those were the teams originally listed to take part. But no Grenada in lane 8, no St. Kitts and Nevis in lane number 3. We're not going to hold back, folks. We're not going to hold back. Once this gets going, let's make some noise. There is... Nicole Bramwell, Jamaica, the 400 Trinidad champion. Jamaica, Jamaica. Always a tactic Turks coaches employ. You're a speedy 400 man or woman on the second leg. He's won 10 8, 8 for the 100 meters, has won high school titles at 200 in the lower age group, and here in the Bahamas, broke 48 seconds for the first time. You also want to have a very strong leg on that first leg because those athletes run all the way around. And so you certainly don't want someone that is not a strong run in the 400 on that leg. And I think that's what we saw with Barbados in the last race. They had a really strong run out front. Front end loading, we call it. Put your best legs very early. Try and get out of traffic and build a lead. Hope your third runner and anchor runner can hold on. Stand behind the Sometimes box. it works. I don't know if the runner from the Bahamas on the first leg was the strongest one we had, but I felt like after that leg, every leg had to catch up. And luckily, they were able to get the bronze medal. Valcor 53 flat, anchor leg, Bain 47-4 last night. Final of the under 17 boys, 4 by 400. Sure. Off they go. The Bohemians had two in the 400 final. This will be a race. Find Bahamian team here. And uh, both Jamaica and the Bahamas out hard in the first 200 meters. Bahamas on the outside. Jamaica center of the track in lane number four. The Bahamians transition with the lead. Jamaica 
stepping forward. DeMarco Bennett on the opening leg for the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans just ahead of Bahamas. Jamaica with the 400 champion now. Nicoy Bramwell on this leg. Trinidad and Tobago speeding through as well. And the Trinbegonians surge into the lead down the back stretch. Bramwell has jumped out for the first 150, has made it close. Now he starts to hustle. Bennett 49 9 for the first leg. And the Bahamas with Andrew Brown done some fine work in this meet. Meadows at 200 and 400 gets his team to attack for second. Brown's at 200, Brown's at 400. Andrew Brown brings the Bahamians into second position. Nicoy Bramwell handing over first. The Jamaicans in control. Bahamas in second. Bramwell 48-6. Bahamas in second in hot pursuit. Trinidad and Tobago in third. Down the back stretch they go for this third leg. Cromwell has given the Jamaicans a massive advantage. A long way to go in this race. Big lead though. The Bahamians start to hustle on the third leg and uh, close the gap with every step. Jamaica ahead of Bahamas and Trinidad and Tobago. Brilliant leg for the Bahamians, but the Jamaicans still well clear. I think the, Baham the Bahamians have Zion Shepard on this anchor leg. Trinidad and Tobago in third. The Jamaicans well clear. Jamaica, Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago. The big three well clear of the rest. Down the stretch they come. The Bohemians are rallying. The Jamaicans holding the advantage with Kenrick Sharp. Bahamas coming forward all the time with Shine Shepard. But Kenrick Sharp holds on and wins the 4x4 on the 17 points for Jamaica. Zion Shepard crosses the line second for the Bohemians and Trinidad and Tobago. Get bronze 31904, the winning time for Jamaica. Sharp, faster on anchor leg for the Bahamas, 48-6. Jamaica 49.1, but the overall depth of Jamaica decides where the gold medal goes. Yeah, Shepard 48-6 on anchor. Faster than the Jamaican Sharp. The lead massive. And the Jamaicans going wild, the Bahamians going wild, Carifter is going wild. Shepard, full of courage and full of run at the end. This team full of history in the 4x4, four four, third, 323-74. Trinidad and Tobago were champions among big people in 2017. And uh, yeah, the Trinidad and Tobago team with Jaden Clement and McKaylen Woods taking the bronze medal. Jamaica. Doing the business. Great efforts by the third and fourth leg from the Bahamas team. They caught up significantly, but by that time, uh, Jamaica was just too far ahead. Gave themselves too much work to do. They should have thought about putting one of their stronger runners on the second leg to keep the race close. 319 04 for Jamaica. 32047 for the Bahamas, Trinidad and Tobago, 32374. It's part of time. Brothers have gone down. Everyone's standing. 
We seem to have more fans in the stands now than at any other point of Karifta 50. 4x4 four four time. And uh, his brilliant meet coming to a climax. Two races to go. No need to sit. So many fans standing. Representing Martinique. The girls pole vaulters getting their medals. First time in the history of the Karifta Games that this event is being held. And the gold medalist. Naya Jules, bronze medalist in the javelin throw for under 17 girls. She lands a historic gold medal for St. Lucia in the pole vault. Capture this picture. First girls pole vault medalists in Karifta Games history. The smiles say it all. Such a special moment in female sports. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the history making women's pole vaulters, Luana Prazola. Prasolda, the bronze medalist, Caprice, the silver medalist, and Naya Jules of St. Lucia, the gold medalist. Two races to go. ceremony for the shot put on the 20 boys the three were on the metal rostrum for the discus back for the shot put walking of the Turks and Caicos Islands taking the bronze medal yes uh, trains in Jamaica has made strides there fine throwing program and uh, I think we'll be seeing uh, more Caribbean presence in the throws at the world level soon Shaquin Dunn, second in the discus. Fine season. Peaked with the silver here. The gold and the world under 20 silver medalist, Kobe Lawrence, completes the double double. Double Karifta Games champion last year. Double Karifta Games champion this year. Heads to college in Oregon. And uh, a bright future ahead of him. Big and powerful, but fast. Has everything he needs to become a fine international shot putter.
shot put on the 20 boys. Members of the Bohemian swim team returning from Curacao where they dominated the competition there. They come straight home. And right here at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium to enjoy what's left of Karifta track and field. Come to cheer their Metal friends ceremony. and colleagues on. Um, many of them go to school together and so they've come to cheer them on and encourage them to win gold. The Grenada team should have been in the under-17 boys, 4x4, four four. they were not. I know there's a charter that should be leaving around 8.30 tonight for some of the teams. And I just hope we don't get into a situation where we have withdrawals because teams have to leave. Sabrina Atkinson, Jamaica, the bronze medalist. Wind picking up as I make these presentations, but a small inconvenience for uh, receiving the medals they've worked so hard for this weekend. Major has a major silver, it's Karifta. Final of the under 20 girls 4x400 meters relay coming up. Bermuda, British Virgin Islands. Bahamas will go in lane number six. They have the 400 silver medalist, Javonia Valcourt, in their lineup. Trinidad and Tobago go in five. They have the 200 champion in their lineup. And that's Sunny Frederick. So Frederick is there as well. Jamaica. Impressive in both her sprints and survived to win the 200 gold medal. Star studded Jamaican lineup, including the 400 champion, Bricky and Russell. St. Kitts and Nevis go in link number three. They have their all-rounder, Jazara Claxton, in this lineup. She's been so busy, fizzing with excitement through these championships. So, in particular, a long look at her in the heptathlon. For the final time, pools. let's do the Carifta wave. All right, we're going to the right sisters. Let's go, we're going to take it all the way around. For the final time, In the lineup for Trinidad and Tobago. The Kittitians. Let's take it around for the final time. Soaking it all Let's in. Go. Uh -huh. On the we ready. On your back is steady. Running and jumping. Hopping and throwing. Eastside. Catch it. You can come get it. Catch 
Bermuda in the lineup. St. Kitts and Nevis, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas, British Virgin Islands, and Bermuda. Penultimate race of Carifta 50. 4x4 four four final for under 20 girls. The Bahamians in the lineup. That's Frederick, the 200 champion. There's Tony and Beckford leading off the Jamaica team. Final girls' event of Carifta 50. Set. Off they go. 4x400 for under 20 girls. Saul Frederick leading off for Trinidad and Tobago. British Virgin Islands go out well in lane number six. The Trinbaconians are going well. Tony and Bickford trying to get into the picture for the Jamaicans. Bahamas will have some work to do coming into the straightaway. But they start to respond as well. Down the home stretch they come. Bahamas in the mix now. Moving beautifully on this opening leg. The Bahamians. Bahamas and Jamaica. Jamaica have put their big gun on the second leg. Jamaica changing just ahead of the Bahamas. Ricky and Russell, the 400 champion, has the baton for the black, green and gold. Fine first leg, 54.8 for Beckford. Down the back stretch they go. Ricky and Russell stretches the advantage. The 200 champion, Sunny and Frederick on this second leg for Trinidad and Tobago. And she sprints into second position. The Bohemians in third. Jamaica well clear once again. Bahamas now back in second position. Frederick starting to struggle. Down the home stretch. Ricky and Russell, the 400 champion, leading the Jamaicans. 
Here she comes to make the second change. Jamaica well clear. 15-18 for Russell. British Virgin Islands now in second position. Christian Powell looking good on this third leg for Jamaica. The Hamas fight back and regain second place. We will battle for the silver and the bronze. 331 47, the character record held by Jamaica. And Casey and Powell with a massive advantage. Down the home stretch. Powell for Jamaica. Battle on for silver Trinidad and Tobago, British Virgin Islands and Bahamas. But the Bahamians have fall court on the anchor leg. That should secure them the silver. The Jamaicans are well clear. 53-4 for Powell. Valcour. Well, it's not Valcour who is on there. the anchor leg for the Bahamians. Ran last night. Great lead up leg. And uh, Jamaica clear in front here. Abigail Campbell on the anchor leg for Jamaica. Last year's under 17 400 champion in Kingston gets the glory leg. And glory it shall be. Kemba turns into the straightaway. Jamaica well clear. Back to Rayleigh on for the silver medal. Abigail Campbell will lead the Jamaicans to gold in the 4x400. They close the girls' side of Carifta 50 with a fabulous performance. Silver will go to Trinidad and Tobago. And the Bahamians take bronze. British Virgin Islands out of the medals in fourth. Valpo ran on the mixed relay last night. And the Bahamian coaches share the glory around for the bronze medal team. That's Jamaica. That red here, Ricky and Russell, the 400 champion. Another fine second leg for Jamaica. Has been great in the 4x4 character for several seasons. Here is the TNT team, second 344.19. And the Frederick sisters get to enjoy a medal together at Carifta. 347.68 for the Bahamas. The Jamaicans securing victory. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, well deserved silver medal with Natasha Fox taking them home out of the medals in the 400 hurdles where she had a bronze a year ago. But she has really silver. The Bahamians bronze. Fine home performance by the Bahamian girls. Especially strong down the 17s with Nabi, the double sprint champion. And uh, here it is, 333.35 for Jamaica. TNT second, 344.19. And the Bahamas girls Always on the podium here, 347.68. Tanik. Carnisha Shelburne from the third leg for Trinidad and Tobago, the high jump bronze medalist. The seven medal silver medal with Representing team. Jamaica, Delano Tom. Medal ceremony for the 800 meters for under 17 boys. The champion, Javon Roberts of Guyana. Brilliant, the timed race set off the pace. 
and made a big move down the home stretch. A successful move down the home stretch. Brilliant finishing move by Roberts to close out that under 7, 800 meters. Found running room as he came off the top curve and hit the gas. And fittingly, he's the last man standing on the podium. Got the gold medal, an extra moment for the photographers. And young Roberts will go back home to Guyana feeling like a king. He's a prince in waiting in the 800 meters. The boys under 20 also a fine race with Cumberbatch winning. Uh, wanted to go faster, he told us, but sometimes it's enough to get the gold medal. Really did well. One race to come. A few more medal ceremonies. Sonic, you've done the Olympic Games, done the World Championships, done the panel, done everything. You build up for the races and then suddenly it's over. Yes, and definitely when it's over, this night is a night when you want to have a medal in your hand because it's taken so much to get to this point. And some of these athletes will go home feeling very satisfied. There's going to be some disappointments. But I think after the athletes have gone home and they're have reflected they'll come back stronger better faster there's something about making a Carifta team once you go on and you do it over and over again as we heard from some of the athletes here they weren't successful the last time they came back they were on the podium and so everybody leaves here a little bit more developed a little bit more even a little bit more passionate Silver and bronze for Barbados in the under 17 curls, 800 meters. Adeke Reynolds, though, with the gold medal for Jamaica. Simmons was looking for the double for the Bayesians. Wasn't to be, gave it all she had, though. Gold at 1500, silver at 800 meters. A fine campaign by Barbados at 8 and 15 among the girls. Uh, 1500 meter titles safely packed away already uh, medals both silvers and of course in here on the 17 silver and bronze work burning over there Reynolds though managed to take care of business Simmons actually could have taken the double and Ali K Reynolds staved off that attack and was flying down the straightaway just like Roberts in the boys race she saved her energy for the last 100 meters. Final race of Carifta 50 coming up. Oak Tree Medical Center, a proud sponsor of this event. Tanique Williams, a proud member of the organizing committee. Hubert Lawrence and Ricardo Chambers feeling privileged to be part of this special occasion. Had a chance to pick the brains of uh, Tanique and Chris Brown, the fireman, um, how to do everything in track and field and then a time to learn as usual. Barbados in lane number eight, Bermuda in seven, British Virgin Islands in six. Lane number five, Team Grenada. Grenada in lane number five, yes, they turn up for the under 20s. Lane number four, your host country, Team Bahamas. Bahamas in four.
St. Kitts and Nevis in lane number two. The Jamaicans in three. This is a fantastic team. Smith Band, Roshan Clark, and Delano Kennedy all have run this year under 46 seconds. Last year, this was a fine race. The red and blacks bearing down on the green and golds in Kingston. In the end, Kennedy, who's on duty again, took care of business, has a gold medal in the 4x100 meters on the third leg last night. And here, Silva in the 400, just missed the defense of his title, just one of Dennis's teammate up running down the stretch. And the Bahamians with the Bahamian swag getting set to run the 4x4. The history in the 4x4 is as rich as anybody in the Caribbean. With the Olympic titles and the, the men, the third fastest nation of all time, 256.72. Next on the list, Jamaica, 256.75. Grenada. Their great hero, Kirani James, After this final, four by had Candel Rondell Bartholomew when James came up, but injuries took Bartholomew out of the you game. And, uh, they're hoping and the waiting to put together ceremony. another great 4x4 four four team with a chance to win gold medals. There's the lineup. Trinidad and Tobago, St. Kitts and Nevis, Jamaica, Bahamas, Grenada, British Virgin Islands, Barbados. The board for the finals of the under 20 men's 4x4, four four, the final event of this exciting Oatring Medical Center 50th Grifter Games 2023. This will be thrilling from the start to the finish. We hope that you've enjoyed yourself at these games. And thank you for coming and visiting with us here in Nassau, the Bahamas, at the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Jasona Dennis leading off for the Jamaicans. As a reminder, we're going to invite you to again to just check out the cultural village before you leave the stadium. Kill some time. Don't get caught up in the traffic. The cultural village and all the vendors will be right there waiting for you. Cyril Somna will lead off the Trinidad and Tobago team. Silver last year before before Somna. Dennis, the 400 champion here to get the Jamaicans going. They're Seven. looking for something fast. Off they go. Final race of Karifta 50. It's the 4x4 four four for under 20 boys. Barbados flying on the outside. Jamaica. Moving steadily, Grenada flying through the first 200 meters in lane number five. Jasona Dennis ranging up for Jamaica in lane number three, the 400 champion. Down the stretch they come, Grenada, Barbados. Jamaica with Dennis coming through now. Here they come to the first change and the Jamaicans change just behind the Grenadians but they search to the lead Jamaica with the 400 hurdles champion Roshan Clark this Jamaican team is very very good 47.4 for Dents on the first leg and Roshan Clark is flying 15 20 meters in front Man better for the silver medal Barbados in second Grenada there the Bahamas there Trinidad and Tobago there the Jamaicans out front all alone like they have been in all the 4x4s tonight, 
Roshan Clark, second fastest time in Karifta history at 400 hurdles to win the gold medal and pours it on down the home stretch as the Jamaicans lead ahead of Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago. 45 bait for Clark and this is the last year, last year's 400 champion Delano Kennedy. Well on the 20 finalists at this event as well, Kennedy took the silver medal here beaten by Jasona Dennis. The championship record 3-0-5-6-8. The Jamaicans could threaten that here with Kennedy having the lead. Grenada running a terrific race as well. They are in second position and gaining on the Jamaicans with Trinidad and Tobago in third. Delana Kennedy steps on the gas down the home stretch. Grenada still holding second. Trinidad and Tobago third. Bahamas back in fourth. Kennedy hands off in front for Jamaica. 46-9 for Kennedy. The Jamaicans front loading their team. Down the back straight away they go for this final leg. Still Jamaica by 10 to 15 meters. Grenada in second, Trinidad and Tobago in third. The Bohemians trying to make a mad rush. But it's Jamaica well clear in the 4 by 400. Down the stretch they come. Malik Smith man cruising down the home stretch Trinidad and Tobago into silver medal position but the Jamaicans close Karifta 50 in style they sweep the 4x4 relays Malik Smith man takes them home Trinidad and Tobago gets the silver they say thank you very much to Bahamaland 30768 for the Jamaicans Trinidad and Tobago with another silver and Grenada with a terrific broad 309.97 for the Trinbegonians. Anchored by Nathan Pummer by the 800 champion. And the Grenadians uh, uh, find third place run 310.59. Terrific run by the Grenadians. Held silver for a long time in that race, but Pummer back with a brilliant anchor for Trinidad and Tobago, but the Jamaicans were not to be denied. Jasona Dennis, the 400 champion, handing off to Russian Clark, the 400 herders champion, to Delana Kennedy, the fastest of them all over 400 meters, to the 200 champion, Malik Smith Band. That was an unstoppable four. In good conditions at the Pan Am Juniors. Maybe the Jamaican junior record could be under threat. 303.79. Great battle for second. This is the anchor leg. Malik Smith man, the 200 champion. Comfortable and cruising on the anchor leg. A battle. And the 800 champion, Nathan Cumberbatch, puts the red and blacks into second for good at the very end. Bay 2, break 310. Disappointing for the Bohemians to be left out of the medals in the very final race of the games. But the Jamaicans dance and sing and cheer and celebrate a 307-68 victory at 4x4 to close Carifta 50. Trinidad and Tobago takes silver at 309.97. Grenada with the bronze medal at 310.59. And certain the track the Bohemian team, they've done so much to make this a memorable 50th Carifta Games. They will deserve. That's the swim team just back in from Curacao. They come and find that their fans at home are with them all the way in the pool. They celebrate a fight performance there back home just in time. What's that seven straight titles for Bahamas in swimming? Wow. The Jamaicans in track and field have not lost since 1984 here Pauline Davis Thompson Davis on that team putting on a fine performance and the same team gets their welcome back home because they've done so well 
Well, it's a big grand celebration here in the South. There is something for everyone. Whether you're a swimmer, throw a jumper sprinter, or just a fan. You can dance to the Jankuna band. This is Karifta. This is 50. This is 2023. This is the end. Close enough at least. And the swim team is being greeted by our minister of youth sports and culture, Mario Bolay. This is the best place to come right now to celebrate your swim board because so many Bahamians are in the stadium tonight. Great welcome home for the swimmers. Also being greeted by our Prime Minister. The Jamaicans won't be too bothered by that. They are celebrating their 4x4 success and they'll be celebrating another Carifta Games table topping performance in track and field. And once again, it was dominant. Clark in spanking shape, his second leg decisive at 45.8. Well deserved though, to get to come home and celebrate in front of your home fans inside the National Stadium. I was thinking about the, our team across there having to miss this because they were on duty overseas. The team has come back just in time. Flags all round, celebrations all round. The Bahamian swim team soaking up the adoration of the Bahamian fans. The Jamaicans trying to celebrate with their fans after 4x4 four four victory. This is a combination now. The track team on the track. Home team has done a wonderful job. This is a great image. And this is what sports looks like. It's, this is what the future of sports looks like in the Bahamas.
closing celebrations coming up, which would include the announcement of the Austin Seeley Award winner for 2023. A moment ago, I saw three of our Some four prime ministers in the photo. That tells you how important sports is to the Bahamas. Indeed. Former Prime Minister Perry Chrissy, who was also a character actor. Few middle presentations to come as they try to get through this closing ceremony. These are the champions. Consistent quality from decade to decade. The past rotates different head coaches and association presidents and different athletes, but that commitment to show that this country is great in track and field always there. And uh, the last few years fabulous last 20 years or so just much less beyond our wildest dreams and i think it's inspiring in the caribbean you can see people looking at it and saying well we can do that we want a piece of that and begin to come forward so very exciting 37th consecutive table topping performance at carifta track and field for the jamaicans last time they were denied being top of the table, 1984 in the Bahamas. Pauline Davis with a stunning anchor leg in the 4x4 to get them a 19th gold medal. Ended up in a tie with the Jamaicans and winning, having won significantly more silver medals. Went on to a fantastic senior career. And uh, in that group, you can see the Johnson twins Britannia and Brittany. Here the Cayman Islanders in their Devontae Howell, the 100 champion. He spoke eloquently about how good his country can be in track and field. Um, that's how you, how you do it. It inspires people. They see what you do. We can get a piece of that. We can model that. We can gain on you. We can take our part of the pie. They also had the long jump on the 20 boys champion, Andrew Stone. Outstanding performance that that speed on the track and speed on the runway in their history. Fine sprinters, Kimar Hyman, sub 10, and of course, Kareem Street Thompson, an outstanding long jump in his time. Medal ceremony for the under 17 boys, 200 meters. Andrew Brown of the Bahamas taking the bronze medal. Bright future, tall and fast. You can see him taking up the mantle at 400 meters in the future. The silver medalist from Grenada, Ethan Sam. A medal in the 100 meters. And now up from bronze there to silver in the 200 meters. Medals being presented by the sponsor Oak Tree Medical. And our champion in the boys under 17, 200 meters from the Bahamas, Caden Smith. Fabulous run from Caden Smith. Says the Bahamas is my mother's country and it's my country too. Great turn. Fantastic final stretch to secure the gold medal. He embraces Bahamaland. The Bahamians embrace him as well. Medal ceremony on the 17 boys 200 meters final. Ladies and 
gentlemen, please acknowledge in our stadium at this time the Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Davis, former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, and former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram. Please acknowledge our Prime, Prime Minister and former Prime Minister.
Pratt of Bahamas taking bronze. Kenyatta Great of the British Virgin Islands, silver. And the Golden Girl from Trinidad and Tobago this time. Sania Frederick. Outstanding performance in these championships. Two medals, one of them gold in the individual events. And came back to help her team in the relays. Even long past the natural distance in the 4x4. And uh, she leaves here with a platform to launch to in her career in the future. I think she's impressive. 100 bronze medal, 200 gold medal. Two relay medals as well. And a number of the teams have to rush out now because they have to get to the airport. Their charter leaves tonight. And we want to have your attention as we bring it to you. We're asking Mr. John Paul Clark, could you please bring us the awards for the... Thank you. Mr. Jumiko Archer, please. The big one we're all waiting for. And the awards from the... The Austin Seely Award winner Petrius. for 2023 started the championship thinking about the possibility of Adeja Hodge becoming the seventh athlete to win back-to-back -back Austin Seely Awards. Six athletes who have done it. Laverne Eve, Bahamas, 1982-83. Kareem Street Thompson, Cayman Islands, 1989-1990. Daryl Brown, Trinidad and Tobago, 1999-2000. Usain Bolt, Jamaica, 2003-2004. Anthony Strawn, the Bahamas, 2011-2012. And Brianna Williams, Jamaica, 2018-2019. Wasn't to be for Hodge, though. Rolled her ankle in the build-up to the event. Had to withdraw, took no part at these games. Looked at Alana Reed out of Jamaica. She won the 100 meters. Did not turn up for the 200 meters. Led the Jamaican team to 4 by 100 gold. So many fabulous performances across the meet. Michelle Smith winning a double. Myers from Belize winning Ladies an under 17 double as well. A double awards. for. Kobe Lawrence in the field, shot put discuss. Well, sure Shamaya Nabi under 17 double at 100, 200 meters. So many big performances. Russian Clark of Jamaica, second fastest performance in Karifta history at 400 meter hurdles for under 20 boys. Dawkins, long jump, triple jump. Yeah, Dawkins, Jaden Dawkins, Jamaica, long jump, triple jump, double. So many quality performances. And now we await the decision as to who will be crowned Austin Seeley Award winner for this year. We Won't be a back-to-back -back winner. As we had discussed at the start of our Cuba broadcast. Ingram and Perry Christie. Let's head whom, to the house announcer. All of whom are very well known to you. The first award will be presented by... Former Prime Minister Ingram, and it will be presented to the current Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Brave Davis. Could we ask the Prime Minister, current Prime Minister, to please take center stage for your award? No, no, no. You, you stay there. Yeah. The award, please. So the organizers trying to sort themselves out as we try to get 
this closing ceremony all the way. First pool vote, gold medal award in the curve for history. Bib number 73, presented to the current Prime Minister Philip Brave Davis by former Prime Minister Hubert Ingram. I'm not sure what the 73 mean. I hope it's not your age. A set of medals. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister Ingram, to Prime Minister Brave. We now invite former Prime Minister, uh, <laughs> Prime Minister Perry Christie, to make a, an award presentation to the Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Mario Boleg. Uh, the, the, you are getting the number two, 72, uh, Mr. Boleg. And I know you're not 72 years old. So uh, you, you say no quick. <laughs> yes, he's 72. That, that is his, he says his age is back to front. He's really 27. But what they are each receiving is the medals of this year's Karifta Games. Thank you very much. We now again invite former Prime Minister Ingram to the NACAC president, NACAC president, seventy-two. You're getting the 72 bid? That apparently was the year when we started Karifta. And it reflects the fact that you are a celebrity of the 50th anniversary of the Games. Mike Sands. We are now going to invite Prime Minister Philip Davis to make the next award. This award is to Jamico Atra, the president of the B3As. And his number is 50. Uh, I know it has something to do with the 50th anniversary. <laughs> 50. Jamico Atra. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we then invite Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Christie to make the next presentation to the chairman of the Carifta LOC, Mr. Harrison Thompson. Uh, Harrison, on, they, they put your number 72. <laughs> All right, Honorable Perry Christie, former Prime Minister, the current chairman of the LOC, which did an excellent job here. We now invite former Prime Minister Ingram to make the next presentation to Dr. Don Diego DeVoe of Oak Tree Medical Center, who made a decision very early to become the title sponsor of these championships and as he says on a leap of faith he gets number 242 <coughs> the next award thank you the next award, ladies and gentlemen, will be presented jointly. Will, the next award will be presented jointly by the three Prime Ministers in our presence. Could you please come forward? Honorable Philip Davis, Honorable Perry Christie, Honorable Hubert Ingram, because this award, this award is for the young man who, for the last several months, 
worked. Well, we don't want to say his butt off, but whatever he had left. We invite now the CEO of Carifta 2023, Lyndon Baycock. What you have done this year, Mr. Maycock, has been nothing short of remarkable. And I think all of the Bahamas and all of the Caribbean owe you an incredible debt of gratitude for what you have been able to accomplish. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We now invite Sir John Paul Clark. John Paul Clark. John Paul Clark with the award, the Esther Maynard Award, please. John Paul Clark. Mike, could you get Mr. John Paul Clark to give us the Austin, the Esther Maynard Award, please? The Esther Maynard Award is given to the most outstanding athlete of the host, uh, sorry, technical official of the host country. And that award is a judge by his peers or her peers. And so we would like to make that award before we go to the final award, the Austin Sealy Award. Could we please have that award? Sir Alta, you have it? Sir John Paul Clark. So we're awaiting the announcement of the Austin Sealy Award winner for 2023. And just a delay in that as we Ladies try to get the closing ceremony the all the way here the at Carifta 50. Esther Maynard Award for Here's the, the announcement Bahamian of the Esther Maynard Award for the best technical official. To have been the most astute, the most consistent, we invite Anne Bullard from the call room for her outstanding service. Miss Anne Bullard. The Austin Sealy Award to be announced following Anne the Boulard. Esther Maynard Award. Bahamian and that's the one we've the been waiting room. on. Not as slick as you would have hoped for the closing ceremony of here. The Bahamas, technical official. The youngsters still Could enjoying you themselves, though. They're unbothered by what's happening around them. And lots of fans still here, yes. basking in, in the attendance. moment. Ladies and gentlemen, home fans, visiting the fans. Austin Sealy Award. The Austin Sealy Award to be presented announced. To the athlete who is a judge to have delivered during the games the most outstanding performance for the three days of competition. This award will be presented by Mr. J.U. Gordon, himself an outstanding athlete 
who went on from Carifta to become a world champion. The winner of this award won the boys under 20 400 meters hurdles in a time of 49.92 seconds, ranked ninth in the world at present, and ranked first in NACAC. And he's only the second under 20 athlete in the Carifta to run under 50 seconds in the 400 meters hurdles. Ladies and gentlemen, from Jamaica, Roshan Clark. Roshan Clark, the Austin Sealy Award winner for Carifta 2023. We have Clark. A 49.92 performance over the 400 the hurdles. Award. Only Jehu Gordon, the record holder, has Rashawn run as fast Clark. as he has in the history of the Carifta Games. And it was a dominant performance from the world under 20 bronze medalist. Austin Sealy Award winner for 2023. Nice can't hold it up for too long. Certainly, Rashawn lots Clark, and lots of Jamaica. performances that were worthy. Please come out as the Austin Silly Award winner. Jamaica for contingent, could you tell Very me? Impressive Clark came back on the 4x4, 45.8 just a while ago. That 49.92, number two all time Carifta at the time in the meantime, number one junior we are as well the Bahamas at 49.92 to be on so one side of the track very special by Grenada is to be on the other Stewart, side I'm leading sure, the other side being with pride because, because when we have, have the handing over man, of the flag some of the other Jamaican it will be important boys and girls Bahamas look on this side week. he looks Grenada fresh and spot on the other side on Mr. Sean Clark ladies and Carista. gentlemen the Austin Sealy Award winner there he is 2023 the most outstanding performance at the Carifta Games 2023. What a moment for the young man. Out of high school, first season out of the high school ranks. Well, even for him, the trophy heavy. Comes to the Carifta Games, delivers an outstanding performance and lifts the Austin Sealy Award. Joins a cadre of superheroes, Usain Bolt, and President Cody Sands Davis, will now give him the replica. Jay Gordon himself too. Because he really doesn't and want to walk to Jamaica with now. that. So here's the replica. Hopefully, like him, crystal. his future will be very, very bright indeed. Mr. Sands making the presentations. Give he it to him, Mike, so you can take here it and lift it up. And he also helps to send this young man off on his career. At this stage, very bright. Roshan Clark, Austin C. Ladies Award and winner, gentlemen, we have a couple more awards to be given. And we give those awards and then award we'll have the, the official year. handing over of the flag terminating Bahamas' lean on the Carifta Games to the next winners, Grenada, who will be hosting in 2024. Lots of disappointments medal for Jamaica, presentation. but they came out with the This head is the medal, medal ceremony for the 5,000 meters Sp under Award 20 recipient. boys. The medals will be presented. So, Grenada set to host next year, 2024, the in their 50th year of independence, so it will be a Lyndon massive occasion Lincoln. for them Managing Director, Account Outsourcing Hosting Services, for the third and the time, CEO of the Games 2023. And they have been fabulous hosts in the past. The bronze medalist from Bermuda, Jake Brislane. More medal presentations, the 5,000. Under 20 boys. Bermuda, silver and bronze. But no one got close to Tafari Waldron of Trinidad and Tobago, a bronze medalist the last year. Upgraded that to gold. Yes, Sealy. His last kilometer fast. He was fresh and enjoyed himself down the straightaway. Said he was injured last year, got the bronze, but has put in injury-free training this season. And 
medalist the gold medalist the and 2023 Carifta Games champion for the 5,000 meters under 20 boys from Trinidad and Tobago, Tafari Waldron. Still beaming with pride, has fought back from injury to dominate at Kirkland Games. Takes gold back home. Heading up to 9 o'clock local time. Here's an announcement. We have an athlete on the track. Can we have the track clear, please? We have a protest. St. Kitts and Nevis is running a 200 meter athlete. There was a mistake made. It was corrected. The athlete was updated to the ninth runner in the 200 meter final. It did not show up in the listing and the athlete is going to run the race by himself right now. Jalen Barnett Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis. So can we ask you please to clear the track just for one minute, please. Well, as if we hadn't had enough drama at Carifta 50, Jalen Bennett, the, the, the 400 meter on the 17 silver medalist, to clear the track apparently just should have run minute. in the 200 meters final, the did not get the opportunity to do so for whatever reason or another. And now will have to run by himself to try and make time to see if he'll run fast enough to be a medalist. Wow. This will be By the way, remember, the medals have already been presented for this event. Ben. Jalen Bennett, Sinkitz, and Nevis. Wow. Thank you for your cooperation. No words right now. Athletes, being athletes, clear the track. They feel Bennett's pain and discomfort and allow for the athlete to do what athletes do leave it on the track won the silver medal in the 400 meters Jalen Bennett this is probably Bennett. explains why the Grenadians were not in the 4x4 four four on the 17 boys because they were hoping he would be able to do this He's determined to go home with two medals. The event has officially wrapped up. We were in the closing ceremony, and he's determined to run this race and possibly claim Patrick another medal Maverick. for himself. Let me just quickly pull up my 200 on the 17 boys results. Smith, the Bahamas, 21.70, first, Sam, Grenada, 21.96, and third, Andrew Brown, the Bahamas, 22.03. To get a medal, he must run faster than 22.03. Couldn't have scripted this. We'll remember this for a long time to come, that's for sure. Patrick, can you wait if we're ready? We're ready. No? Okay. Should we wait? Wait, please. 
This is dramatic. It's been this way all championship. Meet finished. Prizes handed out. And now in the 200 meters, a last chance for a chance to win a medal. There's one thing about Carifta 50. It's been unpredictable. From the opening morning of competition when Adeja Hodge did not turn up for the 100 meters for under 20 girls when Boaji and Krumi got hurt in the under 20 100 meters for boys when DeAndre Daly was disqualified Metal at the semi final stage. Defending champions were struggling to retain. Then the, the champions started to win. Normalcy seemed to be restored, and yet here we are. The medals will be presented by the former Prime Minister of the Commonwealth. Like any Obama's, great story, right we had to have Ewan one final Alexander twist. Ingram. The bronze medalists from Trinidad and Tobago, Stefan Camejo. Medal ceremony for the under 20 boys, 800 meters. Stefan Camejo of Trinidad and Tobago getting the bronze medal. Big finish down the stretch to rescue the bronze for Trinidad and Tobago. The silver medalist from Barbados, Fabian Gallup. That's not Gallup, but he won the silver medal. Teammate collecting for him. Gallup down the stretch. Gallup did. Yes. <laughs> And in a fabulous exhibition of front running. The gold medalist and 2023 Grifta Games champion, 800 meters under 20 boys, representing Trinidad and Tobago, Nathan Cumberbatch. That's not him either. <laughs> oh, I would soak in this moment. It's not yours. But it's yours. Come back. A man among boys in the 800 meters. Then all the way. In control all the way. And uh, here he is with the gold medal. Gallup and Kamejo, second and third. We also have the discus throw. Under 17 boys medal presentation. Wherever you are watching, stand by. You just never know what will happen next. What we are expecting is a runoff. Under 17 boys, 200 meters. Jalen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis, a 400 silver medalist. Launched a protest after he did not take part in the final proper. And now he will run for time. The track has this been cleared all for him. He will have a few hundred athletes and spectators to cheer him on here in Nassau. Has happened a few times in track and field I've watched internationally, but never like this when the meet is finished normally run for qualification to the next round from heats through to semis semis through to finals so it's special 22.05 is what he'll need to run to secure a medal not beyond him if he does go faster than 22.06 Someone will have to return a medal. Third in that race, Andrew Brown of the Bahamas. I 
at this moment, you have to be thinking about his mindset. The atmosphere in the stadium this certainly has changed. For the discus and so, under 17 he has boys. to be prepared to run Once again, the will as be fast as he can all by himself. The Prime Minister no athletes in, in front, right no one behind. He did beat Andrew Brown in the 400 meters. Brown got the bronze medal there. Two bronze medals for him individually. So far. So far. The bronze medalist from Jamaica, Javante Smith. The block is out there by the 200 meter mark. He has gotten what he wanted to begin with, a chance to run for the medals. Simple. That's what he came here for. I guess at the end of the day, however you do it, what matches most is that the best interest the of the athletes is served. From St. Lucia, we want to see racing. Phillips. The gold medalists and 2023 Carifta Games Under-17 Boys Discus Champion from Jamaica, Joseph Salmon. He's had a good season in high school and crowns it with a Carifta Gold Medal. Under-17 Discus Champion, Joseph Salmon. We've gone past nine o'clock local time. It's pole vault time now. <laughs> this time last night, the pole vault raging. Cash of the Bahamas, the bronze medal. Felix of St. Lucia, the silver. Record by Chandler, 5.061 CM on the mid record by Thierry Baptiste, Baptiste Thierry uh, from from Martinique from 2018, I think it was. And uh, that event starts to advance. The medal ceremonies for the under 20 men's triple jump. The medals will be presented by the former Prime Medal Minister ceremony for the, the under 20 the boys triple jump coming and up. A former CAC Games triple jump bronze medalist, the Right Honorable Perry Christie. The bronze medalist from Guyana, Trevon Hammer. Again, he's advancing in track and field here, taking the triple jump bronze medal. Silver medalist to work the from the Bahamas, Laquan Ellis. Former Prime Minister Perry Christie was a triple jumper. I guess there's a method to it then. Knows this event, part of the history of this country in that three bouts. The gold medalist at 2023 Grifter Games under 20 men's triple year. jump champion, the world junior record holder from Jamaica. On titles Jadon and distances, Hibbert. the best jump triple jumper on earth, Jadon Hibbert. At school in the States at Arkansas. Tiptoe through the rain. To all the jumps of a short run. There he is. With a gold medal to match the two he won last year. Told Arkansas he wanted to come here. They have a meet in California on the weekend, but wanted to be with the Jamaica teammates for Carifta.
on a student at Arkansas since he's been there. But now six months, Ricardo, and they love him dearly. A special talent and a nice young man. This is the moment for the 200 meters. Jalen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the medal ceremony for the under 17 girls discus. The medals will be presented by the Honorable Michael Pintard, leader of the opposition. The bronze medalist representing the Bahamas, Daniel Nixon. Nixon arrives to receive the medal for herself. Had a teammate there, but wanted to enjoy this special moment at home. Arrived just in time. The silver medalist representing Guadalupe, Clementine Carrias. A photo moment you will never get back if missed. And our champion in the discus under 17 girls, ladies and gentlemen, the gold medalist representing Jamaica. With a throw of 44.37 meters, Dionya Shaw. Shaw was in trouble with three fouls. Right in the rounds after a calm and cheerful chat with the coach. Demar Gale. And now she's a champion again. But there were less than eight competitors in that event. So I'll have a red part for you. Let's go through it. That starting block sits there awaiting the last bit of competition for Gibson 50. It's been sensational and dramatic, imperfect but wonderful, this last moment at 200 meters. Again, please keep the lanes clear. This is a timed run for Jalen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis. Jalen Bennett, St. Kitts and Nevis settles meters. into his blocks. 22.05 is what he needs to run to have a medal. Sent off. Jalen Bennett takes Bennett. off for the 200 meters. Come on. Let's clear him Executes out. the first 50 Nevis. well. Running for time. Bennett comes off the curve. All Swings the into the, the straightaway is a ketition. He starts to lift. He has the support of his fellow athletes. He has the support of the crowd. Jalen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis. The Goes across the line. You are the best crowd. Clock we did not stop. Much. Back to you, medal ceremony. Now we await the time. I think he's near to it. Very, very close to it, I think. Drama. Down to the last moment of this special celebrate recovery of the games. Medal ceremony. This is the medal ceremony for the four by four hundred meters. On under well, the region girls. is waiting on the time, and so are we. The medals wow. will be presented by the chairman gave it of the local organizing he had. committee, Mr. Harrison Thompson. A lovely curve, hugging the lane line, not on it. The bronze no medal there. Team into the straightaway, knees high, motoring. He knows what he's here for. He's here to chase a medal. Another 17 boys, 200 meters. 
22.07. He is 100th of a second outside the medal. The bronze medal held by Andrew Brown of the Bahamas at 22.06. Jalen Bennett of St. Kitts and Nevis gives it everything he has and is 100th of a second. 100th of a second the outside the 200 medal, the 400 silver medalist. It hurts. Has but to. he got his chance and he ran at it with everything he had. I would say to Andrew Brown, if he had run 22.05 and gotten past him, that's been a tough conversation to have with a young man who, for several hours, now has been the curve down the 17 to the bronze medalist. You know, what I'd say now to Jalen Bennett if I see him now, because he gave it everything. But he won, he got the gold medalist ran at it with and curve the now. champions, Hubert Team Jamaica. has authored a few books. I don't think you could have scripted this one. Life truly stranger than fiction. Bettel ceremony for the under 17 girls, 4x400. A few others to come as well as we get ready to wrap up this broadcast from the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium in Nassau. Jillian Daly, winner of the 40 meter hurdles, gets a gold medal on the left hand side. Brianna Lewis, also a medalist in Alibet, to win the four medal as well. And uh, Jamaica, Paul Flat, four by four, uh, on top of the 17 girls. Can't stop smiling, really. What a joy. Silver in the fat 400 meters, gold in the hurdles, and gold in the last race of under 17 girls competition here. Well, what a day, what a last three days here at Carifta 50. And it's been thrilling at times, dramatic. And there have been other times when we have been left, left puzzled. Tanique Williams, your final thoughts. It's been an awesome, awesome Carifta 50 here in Bahamas. I have some top favorites from the Bahamas, the under 17 girls, Javelin, the pole vault for under 20 boys, Bahamas Van der Poel coming out on top, the mixed relay for the Bahamas, and then of course the under 17 girls performance by Navi, and that's my favorite performances out throughout the whole games. Hubert Lawrence, your final thoughts? My first trip here, I hope I'll be back for Curve in the future. Uh, it's been wonderful to watch. You see, not perfect, but who's perfect? Uh, Roshan Clark, MVP here, Austin Seal Award winner on the girls' side, Nabi impressive, and uh, the Jamaican team having troubles, having injuries, still going strong, and the home team, brilliant. Yeah, a 37th consecutive table topping performance for the Jamaican team here at the Carifta Games. Carifta 50, an exhibition of how far we have come since 1972. But also a reminder that we still have a long way to go. The Bahamas have put on a show. They have put on a fabulous show here for 2023. And now it's on to Grenada for them to take the baton in their 50th for 2024. On behalf of the entire team, Ricky Barry, who did trackside duties in our morning sessions, Ronaldo Dorset, who did trackside duties for the evening sessions, Bohemian Heroes, Chris Brown, and Tonique Williams, Hubert Lawrence, the calming voice of Hubert Lawrence. My name is Ricardo Chambers. Thanks to the entire production team. Thanks to you for joining us over the last four days from the opening ceremony to the closing ceremony. We say thank you, goodbye, and good night.
that jump, jump, jump.